Hi guys, how's it going? So today I'm going to tell you the differences between Caron and El Nido and why you should visit Caron and why you should visit El Nido and why you should not skip Caron. A lot of people we've met along the way have skipped Caron. No, 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 no. Don't skip Caron. It's probably one of the best places here in the Philippines, in my opinion. So number one is transport access. So you can fly into both of these places and you can also get the boat to both of these places. But it's a little bit higgledy-piggledy when you're getting to El Nido. So in the boat situation, you can go from Manila on the to-go ferry to Caron. It stops off in Caron, it comes down to Puerto Princesa and then you can take the bus up through Palawan to El Nido. You can't get the to-go ferry straight to El Nido. The second option is flying. Flying from Manila to Caron is pretty easy and flying to El Nido is pretty easy as well. But I'm quite sure that you can't take big jets into El Nido airport, so there probably will be a stopover either in Caron or Puerto Princesa. Number two is island hopping tours. So we did island hopping tours in Caron and we did them in El Nido. For me, Caron had the better island hopping tour. We did one in Caron and two in El Nido and the one in Caron outweighed both of them in El Nido by a long way. The reason for this is tourism in Caron isn't as big as El Nido and I think the tour and the tour guides gave you a lot more information and a lot more background information whilst you're on the tour. I also thought the destinations we went to were busy but not as busy as El Nido. When we did the El Nido tours it was so much busier when we parked up for lunch or parked up at a section to go snorkeling. It was a lot busier than the Cron Island hopping tours. Having said that, the snorkeling was good in both locations. It was better in Cron. they had a lot more reefs and a lot more activity on the reefs. In El Nido, we did two tours. El Nido had good snorkeling in one of the stops we stopped at and that was at the end of Tour C. So if you come in here for island hopping tours and that's what you really want to see, I really, really recommend Caron. It has really good islands and it has really good tours. And you can also get your private boat and you can go off to the destinations you want to. They have hundreds of islands around Caron and El Nido. So you can pick and choose where you want to go to. Number three is the town. So El Nido's town is centered around the beach. So the beach is where everyone goes and gets on the tour boats. So when I say beach, it's not a beach for relaxing really, it's a beach for partying at night and tours during the day. So the bay is filled up with loads of boats during the morning and the afternoon. However, there's not really a beach. You can travel outside the town and get to a beach, but there's not one in the town. If you're coming over here for a party, then I'd recommend El Nido. It has a lot more nightlife, it has a lot more bars with loud music and a lot more bands and stuff like that. El Nido is a lot more chilled, it's a chilled vibe. There's still a party scene, there's still like bars opening all night, but it's a lot, lot more chilled. So it all depends what you're into. Number four is tourists. So this is the biggest thing, tourism. Tourism can make or break a place. In regards to Caron, there's not a massive tourist influx. So, it's a lot quieter, it's a lot more chilled. The tours are less busy, the bars are less busy, the restaurants are less busy. This then affects prices. So prices you find for food are a lot cheaper in Quran. Normal items, cheaper in Quran. Bike rental and the tours, a little bit cheaper. Lido, on the other hand, it's very much a tourism place. It's very much affected by tourism. There's a lot more tour vendors trying to sell you tours. There's a lot more places that are renting bikes, trying to get you to rent bikes. There's a lot more sort of party atmosphere, a lot more bars and restaurants. But this kind of comes at a cost. The cost is the prices are higher and the food is a little bit worse. Not massively worse. You can head back into town in El Nido and find some really good Filipino food. Just bear that in mind when you pick an El Nido against Caron. You'll see a lot more Western faces, you'll see a lot more Western cuisine. So if you're into that, then El Nido is for you. If you're into more of the Filipino life and how the Filipinos live, then I really recommend Caron. So number five is diving. So we only dived in Caron. We haven't dived in El Nido, but pretty much anywhere in the Philippines 
that has dive shops and has diving available, you're gonna have a good dive. Places like Caron are closer to Apo Reef, which a lot of people go to for the overnight stays, live on a boat for three or four days and dive the hell out of it. And El Nido has good diving as well. So if you're coming over here for diving, both places are ideal. Number six is locals. So in my personal opinion, the locals were a lot friendlier in Caron. They were less sort of distracted by tourism. And when I mean distracted, there was a lot less people trying to sell you stuff. In El Nido, it's very different. It's very touristy. There's people trying to sell you stuff. There's people trying to get you to rent their motorbikes. It's very, very touristy. So if you want somewhere that's off the beaten track, still here in the Philippines, then it's Karan. Number seven is the vibe. So the vibe is Karan, chilled, relaxed, really, really easy going place. El Nido, very nice as well, very beautiful, very picturesque with all the beaches and the boats, but party atmosphere at night. So if you're going to El Nido and you find a hotel or a hostel that's right on the main strip, right on the beach, just be aware there's gonna be a lot of loud music at night. Same in Quran, but not so heavy. Number eight is the internet situation. So everyone likes internet, everyone kind of wants internet when they're on holiday still. So in Quran, there was one place called Coffee Kong on the main road going into the town. This place had decent Wi-Fi. It had decent Wi-Fi to upload videos, to watch YouTube videos and Skype home. In El Nido, you have a few internet cafes everywhere. So it's a little bit more variety, but the internet situation is still kind of the same. Some days it's good, some days it's pretty bad. If it starts to rain, you're fucked. Guys, if you like the video, give it a big thumbs up below. Hit subscribe if you want to. And let me know in the comments below if you've been to Quran or you've been to El Nido. Bye.